Hello and welcome to another segment of the HIAC 8011 Plus How-To Video Series. Today we're going to go over the 8011 Plus Web Server Application Setup. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a suitable Ethernet cable and connect it to the rear of the instrument, as shown. And then the other side will, of course, connect to your network within your facility. Remember that the network must be active for this procedure to work correctly. So after you have that connected, you're going to power up the instrument, the 811 Plus, and wait until the initialization and self-test have completed and passed. Uh, then, of course, from the home screen, you're going to press Setup. You're going to press Instrument. And then you're going to press Web Server. And then from the web server screen, first option one is, are you going to enable it or disable it? So if you press the one button, it'll go from yes to no. So of course we want it to say yes. Option two is the web server name. Now it's going to default to your instrument serial number. It'll say ABS dash your instrument serial number. I've created the custom name BFB for simplicity's sake. So once that's completed and saved, after 1 and 2 is complete, then we're going to move on to option 3, which is the web server DHCP, yes or no. That is, so you say yes to this if you wish the IP address to be automatically assigned by the network, or no if you wish to manually set up the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway values. If you'll notice, it says updating, 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 which means it's automatically going out to the network and waiting for an IP address to be automatically assigned. I do not have my instrument connected to the network and that's why it continues to say that. So if you don't have an active network it'll continue to say that forever. After option 3 is complete and we've established whether we want the network to establish the IP address or we want to manually provide that, then we're going to move on to setting up the historical data. So we're going to go ahead and press setup, we're going to press home, back to the main screen, we're going to go to historical data and it's going to go through and access whatever historical data you have on your system. Uh, at this point then you can establish the data you want to be available at the web server or if you want to have all records set up for the web server. So at this point if you only want to provide a limited amount of data you would go to more and you go to filter data and you could set up your start date and the end date to what data you want to be presented out there on the web server. I have from 5-6-2014 to 2-5-2015. I'm going to change one to go basically from the first of the year. So we'll say 01-01-2015. We're going to save that. We're going to save that. And then we're going to export all records. By all records, we mean only the date, the records from the dates that we just established. Okay, now it's going to say data to export all. If we go to one, it'll say all records, filter data, or database file. Database file is not appropriate for web servers, so it's either all or filter data only. We're going to say all because we've already done the data filter. This is the output format for option two. You've got TSV option or PDF. I'm going to select TSV. Uh, option three is where we're going to locate the data. Either we're going to send it out to the USB or we're going to send it to the web server. Well, we're setting up the web server, so we'll select I, option one. At this point, we're, we've got the data, what we're going to send out there, the format, and the location. So if we hit export, if you'll notice at the bottom it says preparing export data. As the green arrow, status arrow, or I'm sorry, as the green status bar continues to populate, when the status bar is complete, it will inform you that the export was successful. In three, two, one seconds, export was successful. Now the data is available out on the web server for access from a personal computer. So essentially, you can access the data by going to a computer that is connected to the same network and open a web browser like Internet Explorer. You can type in the URL path, basically, it's HTTP. And then, you know, your web server name, which you established as this device. And you press enter. When you've done that, your web server data file should be showed up as a link. And now you can click on it from your PC to access the data that has been specified earlier in this process.
This application note is also available on www.particle.com so you can have the written copy to go right along with this educational video. That's the web server set up for the 811 Plus. I'm Bill Bars reporting. Good day.